Hey everyone, this is my match reaction of Arsenal 3, Tottenham 1. With three goals, three points, back to back, and all the bragging rights right here at the Emirates today. And you know what? Arsenal supporters everywhere are savoring every moment of this. Because after all, we started the season off on a very bad start. And we deserve a game like this today. Most importantly, we deserve to put 110% out there on the pitch today and show up. And tonight, we deserve the win, and we deserve the bragging rights. Smith Rowe, Abemiang, and Saka all hitting that score sheet tonight was brilliant, all in that first half blitz, although a late sun consolation. Um, what can I say? We played lovely football at times. We were quick and sharp on the ball in that first half than Spurs and clearly deserved the win today. We finished them off in the first half. Um, Spurs had a lack of movement, lack of running off on the ball, and a lack of willingness on there overall. It just really looked like they were nervous and didn't even want to come close to players like Tommy Asu and Odegaard, who dominated the game today, especially Martin Odegaard. Um, the game was done and dusted in the first half to begin with. And it was great that Thierry Henry blessed his presence at the Emirates today, giving us that good luck that we needed today. And more importantly, the fans backing every player on that team sheet, even Granite Shaka, who, you know, some of us might have been reluctant to see today. Um, but you know what? He didn't cause us the game today. He wasn't a liability today. Although there were moments of him that were very poor, our team showed up today and there was a, yet again individual brilliance on that pitch tonight. And today was our day and a very much needed win. Uh, it's been a really long time since I've seen us create and put in this work rate right through. Uh, Martin Odegaard done really well today, along with Bukayo Saka and Emil Smith-Rowe. And special mention goes to Kieran Tierney and Tomiyasu. Tomiyasu, yet again, had a really good game today and, again, is undefeated on aerial duels, was really challenging on the ball. Uh, Spurs players were afraid to get near him and really lacked confidence, which is incredible to see from him in terms of his work rate. Um, this was the sweetest victory of the season so far and something us Gooners wanted for a very long time and were eager for. Um, this was the first time I've seen Arteta use this back four in midfield that he wants and the front line that he wanted as well. Um, when I saw that lineup, I was pretty confident um, going into the game. I really wanted us to finish our chances off in the final third. And in that first half, we dominated the game. We showed pace and we showed progressive passes as well as direct passes going into the right players at the right timing. And a player like Martin Odegaard getting into those pocket close sections on that pitch, passing it right directly to the player that he needed, giving in that work rate and also communicating clearly where he wants to go. Being all over that pitch today, he really dominated the game today along with Emil Smith-Rowe. At the start of the season, we started off on a very poor foot, and tonight was really our night to dominate the game at home and also show Spurs what we're all about. Um, we came up with a good game plan, and we're showing good shape, and hopefully we can bring on this momentum against Brighton. Um, in our next fixture away. We just need to keep our players fit, especially Thomas Party. I think he had a great game today. Um, today showed how much potential there was in that front four of Smith, Rowe, Odegaard, Saka interchanging, um, also with Abemiang up front. And Spurs were a bit all over the place, really in a lackluster. They weren't able to keep up with our pace and were really lacking communication on that pitch today. But what impressed me the most today was the progressive passing from Martin Odegaard in particular. The way he played today is exactly what we need. Party alongside Martin Odegaard and the pace of Bukayo Saka and Abemiang work rate right today was incredible to control the game. So technically good. Um, Odegaard was not rushed. He made the right passes today and would not stop pressing on the ball. You know, it was great to see him alongside Smith Rowe, as well as Saka uh, behind Abemiang, bringing in that creativity, but also controlling the tempo of the game and finding the right man to pass the ball to um, with the right weight to play the game tactically and improve our game. And there are really good moments where we were playing really great football, something that we haven't seen in a very long time. Uh, and haven't seen at all from the start of the season. There were instances in the game where Hoiberg couldn't even deal with Odegaard to nullify him. And this is what happens when we put Saka in his right position. So Saka at right wing back, we're really seeing the most of what Bukayo Saka offers and brings to the table. And today, 
we've seen how he goes on that ball with no fear at all. You know, he was not at his very best today, like we know him, but he produced in key moments and delivered the impact that we needed. He got the goal, got the assist, and showing us that, you know, he plays best at right wing back, not on the left, showing how productive he is in his right position. And I think Arteta really had to get that together. And tonight I will give my credit and when and where it's due to Mikel Arteta for playing the players in their right position, players like Bukayo Saka, getting the most out of him from that right wing position rather than on the left. We're seeing what Saka has to offer and he produced and turned up when we needed him. Uh, Tommy Yasu had a good game, great on aerial duels and Sun couldn't even keep up to him, couldn't even go one on one with him uh, because of his pace and presence, something that we noticed from previous games and transpired yet again today on the pitch. Aaron Ramsdale, although we were so close to keeping a clean sheet, we conceded one goal uh, due to Sun, but Ramsdale is showing a lot of leadership that he wants to take the number one goalkeeper position and showing a lot of ambition and also striving hard to be that number one goalkeeper, something that we need, a player of ambition and a goalkeeper who's really communicating with the players in front of him. Throughout that game, he was com communicating clearly with the players in front of him, and um, he made himself big to the point where the opponent doubted themselves. He was calm and collected yet again, made crucial saves in that second half. Um, tipping Mora's deflected shot onto the bar was a brilliant save to watch and really, really proud of him. I doubted him at the start when we signed him, and I'm so glad he's proving me wrong so far, and I hope to see a lot more from him in terms of his confidence and also, more importantly, his leadership. Um, I can see the chemistry building between Ramsdale Ben White and Gabrielle, something that I want to see more of later on in the season. And hopefully as long as Gabrielle stays fit, we can see more of that. Uh, ben Yang had a really great game today. And to be honest, it was his best performance of all season and in a while. Uh, ben Yang showed leadership and showed what it means to be captain and wear that armband. The atmosphere supporting him at home really, really was integral to the game today and getting right behind the players, but also getting right behind Abemiang was integral to tonight's performance. The commitment level from the players today was incredible alongside that support from the fans, which is exactly what we needed today. Abemiang was right on the ball, you know, wanting to win every tackle, getting right on the ball, making direct passes, finishing off our chances as well when we could. His work rate from the front of his press and movement really set the tone. He wore the armband like a leader, but played for the badge. And him during, during doing the Theory Henri celebration was the icing on the cake and something that was so special to us Gooners that it shed a tear in my eye. But you know what? Moments like this is what makes us proud to be a Gooner. And I'm really proud of Abemye getting on that score sheet again, building up the confidence and also showing us that he's still a leader of our game. Um, it's really important for us fans to enjoy moments like this and to savor every moment, considering the way the season started for us with a lot of injuries and players being out due to COVID. Hopefully we can maintain the season with this level of confidence and this level of winning mentality, but also passion and wanting to give everything 110% on that pitch, not just individual brilliance, but working together as a cohesive unit. And hopefully we can carry this confidence and winning mentality going on to play Brighton away. It's really important that we see the best out of these players by playing them in the right position. And today we discovered, as we knew, Bukayo Saka works best on that right wing position. And Arteta got the tactics right today, and we deserve the three points today. And we played for it, more importantly. I'll see you guys next week for the next match review. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, my Twitter is Miss Melina7, and stay tuned for my next match reaction. But more importantly, let's all celebrate the three points and, and keep Spurs back in their place. They're not winning anything for a really long time. They're dusted. And last but not least, come on, you Gunners. We got the three points. <laughs>